Hey, hey, this week on First Take Sports Podcast. MLB trade deadline. Oh, man, it's busy. We got shares of Shohei, the Dodgers, Hicks to the Blue Jays, Fonny, Furland, and more. What? In yeah. about news. FL News, yes, Joe Burrow down, Andrew Thomas, what's up, Bryce Young, Justin Herbert, this, and so much more on this week's episode of Fresh Take. Stay tuned. Everyone to the first six sports podcast. It's Monday. Night. You know we're live on the Real Fresh channel. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the Real Fresh channel. I'm how fresh. Half of the fresh takes. Big loop. The other half. Of the I'm here. Uh, man, we're at baseball tonight. Man, I didn't hear nothing about it. There hasn't been one trade today. It's disappointing. I'm talking about you. You like normally you're baseballing on. Uh, oh, my baseball. Yeah, yeah, my baseball is good. I just ran the pitching machine tonight. Sorry to pick my nose. I ran the pitching machine tonight, so I you had it. Yeah, we got a pitching machine, man. So what I did was I put I dropped the ball in. It cranks it at the kids. We were I moved it in from to be closer than it normally would be from where they, their mound is, right? Yeah. I just wanted quicker bats. You know, boys loading up quicker, and uh, I was we were giving it. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of swinging and missing, and then and then some good contact. So uh, I'm proud of them. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that'd be funny. Punks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was actually I was tired out there, and I just did nothing. <laughs> yeah, man, you can be tired. It's cool. <laughs> Do you know you you show them the ball? So you're like ball, and then you drop it in the machine, Sorry, and then it spits Chris. it right at them. But it's not, it's not consistent, so like it vibrates so much because it's running so fast that it yeah. moves it a little bit over time. Yeah. So you have to adjust it every so often. But a pitch will go like low, like you know, like really low, and then a pitch yeah. will go like above a catcher's head, and then the next one will be a strike, right? Something like that. Yeah. And uh, but it's good for them because they have to learn to be selective too, right? It's not just every pitch down the middle. Yeah. Which you can you can time if you can time it up you're gonna you're gonna hit Crank it right it. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So them. Oh, yeah. Well. well yeah man well let's have a look what are we getting into here man we kind of rattled it off uh so i figured yeah the first half is in its uh mlb trade deadline as everyone knows so we'll get into max scherzer the angels the dodgers the blue jays uh or yeah, a lot there's a lot of subjects i noticed uh, <laughs> Uh, after the break, I thought we would uh, get into the NFL. Uh, there is a fair bit of NFL as well. Yep, which is always good. Love my uh, love the news. Oh yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, let's do it, man. Sometimes it's tough when there's weeks when there's not a whole lot, right? It can be fun. Yeah, you can now can be my creative. Mind. Yeah, that's true, man. That is yeah. true. Yeah. All right. First, uh, first up here, we do have Max Scherzer. Max Scherzer is going to the Rangers. Uh, so in return, the Mets get a uh, highly touted prospect. Damn it, Louise Angel, Louise Angel Acuna. I <laughs> call it get close, man. You, Louise, man, that that angel and, with and the, hell. Go in and hell. That soft G, man. Damn. Yeah. And hell. <laughs> Louise Angel. Okay, Acuna. Yeah. Now, if Acuna <laughs> sounds familiar to y'all out there, of course it is. Brother of the Acuna, you're thinking of. Mr. Ronald, Ronald, the easy yeah, name to say in the family. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you got Ronnie boy and you got the the wee. It's probably like. <laughs> I like how you're trying to say it with an accent too. 
<laughs> oh man, that's how you're supposed to say it, right? Louise <laughs> Angel. Louise Angel. That's Louis my Angel. my next kid, my next child. It's gonna be Louise Angel. <laughs> I'm silencing everything. I don't know. It, it sounds like oh, like a first and a last name. Uh, yeah. Well, two two a first and middle name, except together <laughs> or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. no disrespect, uh, Mr. Acuna. No, none, none at all, to be honest. Yeah, that's my stupid Canadian ignorance to how to pronounce. <laughs> uh, but Max Scherzer is what we're talking about here. Let's get back in on track here. Uh, Max Scherzer to the not the Braves. Damn, I got my notes all messed up here. To the Rangers. Uh, so, what do you think, man? Fair trade? Sort of a what? No, oh no, I messed up my notes here. <laughs> I, oh. I had, he went to the Mets, but or, or sorry, the Braves, but he went to the Rangers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Braves yeah, might yeah. take him too, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, Scherzer to the Rangers. Uh, he's got that four point oh one ERA, so he's not what you know old prime Scherzer, but I mean, I would still take him. Yep. Uh, if I were the Rangers, I'd, I why not go for it? Uh, they gave up a really nice prospect, but uh, they're making a push to win that division and possibly more, right? I think they have pretty decent pitching, even though DeGrom went down and bringing in Scherzer. Scherzer's not going to pitch any worse than a four ERA right now. And it's going to be probably better, I'm guessing, when he goes yeah. there. Uh, and I, like uh, I don't know if he's totally lost it. I don't know if that's into the road for Scherzer, but uh, I do uh, I do like it for the Rangers. I thought it's they... a little bit of a decline. It's not, it's not like a huge, you know, no, yeah, he, he, but, yeah, and he can still pitch, but here's the thing. He has uh he has playoff experience. He's he's a guy you can emulate. Like, you know, these oh, other I'm pitchers. Down. I'm, I'm down, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm down, down too, man. These other pitchers, don't get me wrong, they have our veterans and, and good pitchers. But um to have Scherzer in your clubhouse, you can't go too wrong with that. And I believe he's better than a four point oh one ERA. Um and they're right there with a team that we're gonna chat about soon i won't mention quite yet even though everybody knows who's in the al west <laughs> yeah not really a, a shocker or anything here but um uh, i like it for the mets as well i think uh the mets instead of just buying everybody who was you know a free agent or or on the trade block or whatever they, they decide to uh add a really big piece to their to their farm system and are and now probably their biggest piece in their farm system and uh, i think it's a good move for both teams i think it makes sense where the mets are essentially are out of it they're not essentially out of it they're out of it and uh and they're out of it, yeah. and, the, yeah, out of it. and the rangers are um in it. uh fighting for it man and and i i think the rangers fans will appreciate uh them going after scherzer and getting scherzer it, it cost him a nice prospect, but uh, a win-win for both sides, I think. Yeah, I was, I was, I was man, I was about to say win-win for both sides, definitely, man. Uh, I can't say that I've personally watched Acuna play, but to get a prospect, it's going to be hit or miss. You never really know. Uh, for an aging veteran, I mean, fair trade on both sides. It makes sense for both sides. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I never saw him play either, obviously, but um, he's uh, Acuna. Yeah, he's de- he's de- he's an Acuna. He's got yeah. a good a little lineage there, I guess. And uh, well, and uh, did- we were all in the Vladdy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, <bro. laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but yes, yeah, you said it. I said it. Win win, man. I like it. I like it too. All right, let's get to Shohei and uh, the Dodgers. I'm oh, sorry, and the Angels. I'm all over the place tonight. <laughs> it's okay, man. No worries. So not only are the Angels keeping Shohei, so I, I, last week I said, I believe I said something along the lines of, how stupid can the Angels be to keep him? They got to trade him. I said, there's no way they're going to keep him. Uh, not only are they keeping him, they are buying pieces. They've got the uh, right-hander there, uh, Giolito, yeah. and the reliever uh, Lopez from the White Sox for two of their prospects. Man, do the Angels, even with these two arms... Do they have the bats to really make a push, man? I I don't think I I, I like the addition. They should have traded him. They should yeah, have yeah. Honestly, because you're just gonna he's just he's gonna go. He's gonna walk. He's gonna sign elsewhere. All the same thing. But and now you <laughs> have prospects. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. G, and G. Lee is a good pitcher, and he does help the the 
pitching staff. And Lopez can be kind of effective under the bullpen. Um, if it's I mean, another arm under the bullpen. Angels for sure. I mean, yeah, but the, the teams like Rendon might never. I don't know when we're ever going to see Rendon healthy. Trout is more and more injury prone yeah, uh, with different watching. injuries too, which is always challenging. And uh, um, who else? Brandon Drury's out. He's a good hitter for them, and he's out. I forgot uh, about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a good player, and uh, they need these guys healthy. And I still don't think it's enough because I still don't think the pitching is. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're, Where it's supposed to be. The they're going to miss the playoffs. Yeah, they're going to miss the playoffs. I, th- I agree with that, actually. And even though they're kind of looking like they were maybe having a chance, and then, it, no. Uh, I think they're... Uh, they, they were hot coming into Toronto. They were hot coming into Toronto, and then mm-hmm. I was worried. But Toronto kept it together, man. They took two or three there. Yeah, yeah big, big series one. I thought they were going to get the sweep, and I'm sure a lot of people did. And, they need uh, to show up against Baltimore tonight or the, or this week, whatever it is. Uh, it, what is it right now? Three three. I don't have it on. I don't. Yeah, I don't have it. On. I decided not to turn it on. Turn it, it on when I'm over. Three two when I start to get ready for the show. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't want to turn it on until the uh, we're we're done. Just uh, so I don't freak out at the TV. End of the day, though, man, not enough pitching. Otani's a good pitcher. How long is he going to be able to keep this up? I don't know. Um. Tyler Anderson was brought in from the Dodgers. What? Not enough pitching and not enough bats. Yeah, yeah, not enough depth. Uh, Sandoval's, have, you know, okay. Like, yeah, G. Lito, he's a good pitcher, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Um, I I don't understand what, what they were, uh, not what they're thinking, but I, we don't know what they were offered either, too, right? So uh, it's been nothing worth it. What's oh, dude? I guess it's easy for me to say from the outside, but I feel like they're not going to make the playoffs. They sold their prospects. They're going to lose Otani. I feel like this was like the worst thing they could do. But again, I'm not the smartest people working there, I suppose. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I just think they're going to be sniffing the playoffs from pretty far away, and I think that's maybe their best case scenario yeah. here, right? I, I a big L. Yeah, yeah, I just do not do not know why. But um I, I heard the theory that they were that this may be an effort to show Otani that they want to keep him. How, what do you think of that? Yeah, but bringing in nothing wrong with Giolito. I take him on the Blue Jays in two seconds. Uh but um uh, I do not think that's enough to show him that. This is where you want to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, you know, I'm I'm definitely uh, not buying it either. I just something I heard being tossed around today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's not my 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 favorite thing either. Even though they're slightly a bit better now, but they're still not. Yeah, it's yeah. like okay, you yeah, exactly. You raise the floor, but I don't know if your ceiling's any higher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like by like a few centimeters or something. I don't know. Yeah, you might win another game. <laughs> I got a, I got a mustache hair tickling my nose and it's driving me insane. I can't see oh, it. Did can't you get see the it. I can't get it. You get the little crease and it c- c- comes up. Oh, and yeah, a little pop and it's like tickling. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll sneeze all over the screen here in a minute. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> back to the show. <laughs> so let's go to the next topic here. The Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, they get uh, Lance Lynn and Joe Kelly from the White Sox. The White Sox are just unloading. Uh, they got some prospects there. Pitching prospects, uh, Nick Nestrini and Jordan Leisure. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and they also had an outfielder. I missed this when I was reading through. Uh, Trace Thompson. There Trace Thompson. Well. Do you know who Trace is? Uh, not off the top, no. No, no, you know or should do uh, outside of his brother. His brother's Clay Thompson. Really? Warrior. Yeah, Clay Thompson. Yeah. That's his brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty crazy, eh? Yeah. I think it's cool. Um, he's been the major league uh, like, like bench guy for a few years. He's, he's, they uh, kind of have the same thing, is it? <laughs> yeah, they kind of look alike, actually. Yeah. <laughs> he's not as good as uh, at his craft as uh, Clay is at his. <laughs> but no, here, here, about this trade, though. Uh, for the Dodgers, man, I like it. Because the Dodgers start rotation, even their bullpen hasn't been great. This year, Clayton Kershaw, there we go, uh, is having a good year. He was sidelined for a bit. Uh, Urias hasn't been the same. Uh, Gonsolin hasn't quite been the same this year. 
Uh, those are big guys they depend on. Uh, young guy Groves, all right, but they needed uh, they needed another dependable starter, and they got one of the one of the more dependable guys over the past like seven eight years. Like he was when he was uh, St. Louis, he was you know, could pencil him in for fifteen wins in a season, easy, right? He, he was a, he's a workhorse for this day and age, and uh, I, I and he's excited. I saw an interview with him today. He's excited to be there, and Joe You're Kelly and him. Good, man. What? And he rocks the gut pretty hard too. Yeah, oh yeah, he's a big boy, and he's oh, excited. Yeah. Joe Kelly went with him, eh? Because him and Joe Kelly are buddies, and oh, uh, Joe Kelly's another arm under the bullpen. I don't think he's. Uh, oh, uh, I really uh, like Joe Kelly. Yeah, he's all right. He's but he's not a Brad Raw or somebody out of there. You know, he's oh, yeah. it's uh but it's a good move. They needed a starter. I think they made one of the better moves of the trade deadline for sure. Lance Lynn is dependable, and he is. Uh, Need it. That's uh, how I'll put it, I guess. Oh, yeah. It's going to help them. I mean, the Dodgers are always dangerous, and this is definitely going to help them. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah we weak spots, yeah, for sure. Well, the weak spot was their pitching this year, which is kind of crazy. Their their bats are fine. I like that lineup. Uh, every, yeah, because I, 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 remember, I remember last season when we went through, and uh, the, we, we had an episode where I, I was sleeping on the Dodgers pitching. We pulled up their pitching, and they were all, like, three ERA, like the first four of them. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah not, not so much this year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, last year was wild. Yeah, Kershaw. Kershaw's got a great ERA. He's 2.55, but he, he's, uh, you know, he can be a tad bit injury prone in this, uh, in, in the past number of years, right? So uh, He's been around. He's been yeah, around. He's awesome, man. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, all yeah. right, let's go to the next one here. Uh, the Cardinals, or more importantly, the Jays is the topic for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you can tell, oh, my Jays fell down. I got my Jays hat out here anyway. Uh, I, you do? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 I see it. Yeah. Over here, baby, over here. So, where is my note? Here it is. The Cardinals traded uh, reliever Jordan Hicks. I, I don't know if we want to call him the best reliever available, but, I mean, he's definitely the hardest thrower. <laughs> he's definitely the hardest thrower by a mile. I heard someone say this funny stat, and it's like, uh, as, as soon as he throws a pitch, it will be the fastest pitch in Blue Jays history, which is pretty funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, will be, it will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be. Uh, He's like, no joke, man. He threw 105 so, miles an hour in a game. Good pickup. Uh, we traded, again, these are uh, prospects, Kloffenstein and Roberts. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's fun as well. Uh, we needed an arm. I, I don't know, man. Uh, Romero or uh, Romero. <laughs> Ricky <Yeah>. Romero. <laughs> Ricky Romero out of the bullpen. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll take him. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, he's hurt. Uh, now, uh, Bo Bichette, man, it's, it's kind of scary. Yeah. Um, I like the pickup of Hicks. Hicks has big upside. Um, when he, if he can corral all that talent and ability, he can be very effective. He's had high, good... high speed, high K. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Swing a lot of swing and miss. He's got. Uh, he's a good. Uh, he's a good pickup for sure. He adds depth to that bullpen. Um, he is somebody who it's, I'm it's, kind of, it's, a, it's a different look. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see him, man. And I, I mm-hmm. want to see Blue Jay throwing 103, 104 miles an hour. Yeah. Be pretty sweet. I don't even know if I've ever seen that. You know, Dang. oh, it looks crazy, man. Yeah. I think it's, it's different looking, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, but I, I like the move, and they got a uh, uh, Genesis Cabrera, Genesis Cabrera, I guess, um, last week from the Cardinals, too. And then they add today. I don't know if you mentioned the the Paul DeYoung trade. Uh, no, the, I did not. The infielder for uh, the Cardinals, who they got today yeah. to fill in for Bo. Uh, man, so what I don't know what the deal is with the Cardinals and Blue Jays right now, man. <laughs> well, that, that that makes me think why I think Bo Bichette's injury is worse than they're saying because I feel like if they wanted him, they would have got him already. Yeah, I, I I'm hearing too. I heard from a couple of different spots like that, that, that uh, it's not that serious. But um, also, if it's not that serious and they get Paul DeYoung for, uh, on that team too, I'm okay with it. I, I think he's a, he's got a bit of pop. He's a good infielder. Um, but I'm kind of worried where they bring in a guy so quickly yeah. uh, for a supposed not that serious injury. You know what I mean? Like That's a little concerning. Yeah, well, I mean, let's wait and see. It just happened, but uh, very concerning for Jay's nation. Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out here. 
But they better uh, win this game right now. I put the game on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they better win, man. They have to. They lost yesterday. Yeah. Frustrating. All right, man. Aaron, I always want to say Saval, Savali. Saval, yeah. Uh, going to the Guardians in exchange for first base prospect Kyle Manzardo. Uh, what do you think of that? Yeah, uh, um, it pisses me right off. Uh, the Rays. You uh, wanted it, didn't you, man? Oh, Drew, Drew Rasmussen on, on the 60 day DL springs out for the year. Now I'm like, oh, that this looks good. But then Glass now, Tyler Glass now is healthy. McClanahan's pitching pretty well. Uh, and they had Savali's having a good year. I'm like, for fuck's sake. Uh, I just I just don't know. They're making a push for it, man. Oh, man, are they ever. And he's a good, he's a good pitcher. He's a good he's, – uh, he's a bit unheralded, but he's had a nice career so far. And uh, I think it's just another another good pickup by them. I was – when I saw it, I think I cursed, actually. I was like, ah, oh, I was scrolling down whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or Bleacher Report, I think, maybe one of the two. And uh, – and passed. I'm like, are you serious? I think that's what I said. I was, so, I was ticked anyway. He, yeah, he's got a 2.3 ERA, man. He's good, man. He's good. Yeah, he's, he's crazy. Bad. Yeah, I. Uh, 1.04 whip. It just makes them that much, that much better, and that's not. Yeah, and they have a great bullpen too. I jotted that down. I knew I wrote something, and the bullpen's wicked. Like that team, I'll take the pitching staff. Oh man, they're dangerous. That they're kind of slowing down a little bit lately, but they're still dangerous. A little bit, but yeah, the pitching staff still. It was a playoffs hit. I don't think they could. Uh, the Orioles, like a team like the Orioles, who are winning right now, could um, hang with them because in the playoffs, pitching is kind of king. And yeah. uh, man, just ridiculous. I think the Orioles have the brightest future in the AL East. Yeah, if they can, if they can. Uh, they have the biggest window right now. I feel like uh, they just got a starter today too that we missed, and I can't think of who it was. Like, at the, at the at the beginning of all this, we thought, or uh, at the beginning of the season, we thought they were just going to be starting to just make the incline. And now, yeah, they're yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh, hundred percent. Now they're, they're the best team in the American League right now. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, they have the best lineup. Right, uh, honestly, they had, I think they have the best lineup in the uh, in the East, uh, even better uh, than all the other teams. Uh, yeah, they're the best team. Uh, they're the best, but best lineup, and but the best team in my eyes is still Tampa. And uh, in terms of who will go further, I think it's yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna so, be an AL Easty uh, wild card. It's gonna be fun. Uh, it's, it's, I think, I definitely hope it is because uh, yeah, we kind of want a certain team in there. So <laughs> yeah, I guess so, man. I kind of gave up on the on the. For a minute, I was like, are we going to catch somebody? No, we better go for the walk card. You know? Yeah, honestly, I'd take the playoffs in any form. So, uh, I want to win right. the East, though. I do want to win the East. Don't get me wrong. I really oh, let's to... push for it, man. Hopefully, Bo comes back. That's the only way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we need Bo. We need Bo hitting. And uh, we need other bats to uh, get going pretty quick here. It's a little ridiculous. Is that our show? <laughs> Don't burst you. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> I, and Chapman and Vladdy and Bo to a degree. I'm okay with Vladdy, but he's just a little saw. He's a little single hitter, but oh man, oh man. Uh, what Merrifield's doing great. I'll give him full credit, man. He's like, oh, a, man. he's like our MVP. Oh, after Bo, yeah, yeah. Actually, after Bo, but still, Bo's still MVP. I, I'll, yeah. I'll say that for sure. Uh, all right. Next up, I've got Verlander. Uh, so the Astros are sending oh, two minor are. leaguers, uh, outfielders, uh, Drew Gilbert and the team's number one prospect, Ryan Clifford, to the Mets for Verlander, who waived his no-trade clause uh, to go to Houston here. So what are we thinking about Houston here at this point? Oh, man. I'm thinking another – say it again. Another what? Win-win. Uh, Oh, win win. Yeah, there you go. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the Mets get another nice prospect, and uh, the Astros are battling with uh, Zed Rangers uh, for, for that. He's uh, had a pretty good season this year, too, man. I'm pulling up his stats here 3.15 ERA this season. Yeah, he's doing all right, man. And uh, the Astros arguably didn't even need him. Like, they have our key coming back, too. Yeah, our, honestly, yeah. That's, that's a stack pitching staff. Um, I think it's a win-win again, man. I really do. And I, uh, the American I, League wildcard. I, I, I didn't think the Rangers would be sticking around like this. 
and they are. And so I think it's a nice battle because what's half a game separating them? Is it something like that? Oh, well, uh, but something like that, yeah. It's like real close. Yeah, ha- half a game, I think. But uh, yeah, good, good move uh, for both uh teams that the uh, the Mets dealt with they're the Rangers and the Astros both good moves um because they're going for it and uh nice prospects going back the other way for the Mets which is uh actually smart on their part not some bullshit contract that for a guy no, you know, I don't know I'm just I just think how they put their team together was embarrassing it was like old school Yankees just buying everybody right I hate that crap yeah, I feel that. Yeah, Frig, man. Early 2000s Yankees, whoever oh, were the top three guys on the free agent market, they'd sign every one of them oh, because yeah. they had no no money issues, right? And I'm like, come on, boys. Like, make it to and, and, and we're watching this, like, green-ass turf. Fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, man. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, Brandon dude. Bell. That's all I got beard. for um I like his beard. <laughs> <Bell's> beard. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all I got for uh MLB man. I was thinking we're taking the ad break here and then we get into a couple NFL things. Sounds good. All right, back in uh less than two minutes, folks. Appreciate it. Hey guys, it's Brad with College Sports Cast. We're presented by the Fanboys. I want you guys to check out my brand new Victorious T from True Victory. Scan that QR code, takes you straight to the website. They're founded by U.S. military veterans. True Victory is a sportswear and streetwear brand dedicated to building everyday champions on and off the field. Our purpose is to transform lives and elevate humanity through the power and unity of sports, positive stories, and serving others. Again, check out that QR code. Use our code to fanboys for a 15% discount and get a great tea, man. It's comfortable. And remember, they're part sports, part street, and always true. And I just want to shout out our newest partner, uh, W Energy Drinks. You know, energy drink, you get the powder, you mix it up at home, but it's better than any of that coffee, any of that energy drink you get. There's no crash, no jitters, no angst. Uh, they have a patented neurofactor. Uh, that's the star of the show. They got brain food. I'm talking taurine, tyrosine, glutamine, uh, more. Uh, they only have the best amino acids. Uh, only the best brain benefiting vitamins. I'm talking B3, B12, vitamin C, much more. I'm also talking 150 milligrams of caffeine. So just like your energy, it gives you that kick. There's no sugar, no maltodextrin, no fake colors, no jaws, no fillers, no BS. You can go to w.gg, w.gg, make sure you use the code REALFRESH, two words, code REALFRESH, get 10% off your order and support the show. Or if you'd rather just copy paste the link from the description. Yeah. Yeah, get that W. Use that 10% off code. Exactly. You know, I've been doing it. Look at that, man. Look at that collection. I got one more downstairs, to be honest. Mine went out recycling. <laughs> yeah, think... man. It's probably a better idea not to hoard all, all this stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Let's get into it. Let's get into the NFL stuff. Let's first lead off. Joe Burrow. Uh, so Burrow was out several weeks. Did that come through? Several weeks. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you're above the oh, the camera there the first time <laughs> uh, with a calf strain. So the Bengals have brought in former XFL quarterbacks Reed Sinnott and Drew Plitt. Who I don't know. You don't know uh, for a workout, and uh, they plan on signing, I believe, Sinnott. Um, so this makes me think it's more than week to week, man. What do you think, man? This is kind of scary for Bengals fans. I don't know. Isn't Trevor Simeon the backup there, which isn't great either? But I thought Simeon was the backup. Well, I guess if he can't dress, you need two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know that. But it's uh, I don't think it's going to be that long. Uh, according to reports, my but insiders. Need more uh, quarterbacks, man. Yeah, yeah, honestly, a whole bunch of shitty quarterbacks. Um, I. I could see, I guess he's walking. 
the the word is uh, according to Albert Breer, uh, he's walking, and uh, so I don't know. He's going to miss a lot of training camp. Will he miss a game? Even it's only the first of August, right? So well, they're saying that they expect him back around the start of the season, but that I I, I think they're not being honest, man. I, I bet you he misses game games uh, probably. I uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, and uh, they don't seem too concerned is what the word is anyway. And that's not from, that's from a couple of different sources. It looks like, uh, yeah. looks like, it looks like he will be all right. If he's, if he comes back healthy, the thing is you're missing repetition in, uh, in training camp. You're missing the on field stuff, right? Your Man, timing. Your, 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 yeah, I know. I know. But I'm not really, once Joe gets on the field, even if he does miss a couple of weeks, that team is uh, 5,000 times better and uh, are once again going to be a threat to come out of the uh, the AFC anyway. Right. So uh, I, I think, so. I think so. I, I don't, I don't see him being out that long. I really don't any, uh, uh, excuse me. And I, he, uh, you know, he tends to come back from stuff pretty quickly knock on wood. Hopefully this is the case with this one, even though it's totally different. Yeah, um, he's a, but uh, he's, I, I, I'm okay with it. I, 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 or not okay with it. I don't want him to get injured or anything, but I, I don't think it's going to be, it could have been, yeah, it could have not- been a CL of some sort. It could have been uh, yeah. an Achilles. So I think they're thinking, Hey, this is, this is not the end of the year for us. Right. No, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going that far, but if yeah. he that doesn't play week one, I'm not surprised. No, no. I, I think the only thing that's going to be missing is that that camaraderie, not camaraderie, the uh, the repetition, the repetition, rep. and everything, and the, and the reps, and the uh, in finding, uh, getting in, in sync with his teammates, like right? Yeah, yeah. That, that that those are things that I think they'll be like more concerned Important. about than yeah. yeah. But he'll be he'll be fine, and I think they are going to finish that probably twelve and five, something like that. I. I I'll say now, 12 and 5. Remind, <laughs> remind me to say the same record when I say the predictions for division winners and whatnot. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we'll save that for that bonus episode. We're gonna do <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah boys. exactly. Stay exactly. tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm okay with it, though. It is uh, it is big news, though. Don't get me wrong, because it can go... Uh, uh, it could have been a lot worse, and he still is missing time on the field. That is yeah, very, yes. very much needed. And I'm kind of repeating myself now, so... So yeah. moving on. Moving on. <laughs> uh, let's get into Andrew Thomas. Uh, yeah. So the New York Giants and left tackle Andrew Thomas have agreed to a five-year, $117.5 million extension that includes $67 million guaranteed. This seems like a lot for an alignment, man. Is he worth that much? Yeah, I think he's top Ooh. 10 top ten lineman in the Top ten lineman in the league. Uh, I think he's uh, a guy they had to lock up, and um, I think you got to protect your quarterback that you paid forty five billion dollars for. Yeah, that's a true. Um, and um, I, I know Saquon is. Uh, you know, they the talk was with the Saquon stuff uh, uh, throughout the off season, right? Um, but it's a different it's a different league now. You're protecting that quarterback more than you're wanting to give a long term deal to any running back ever, and uh, it's just a different league. And you want guys who are studs that are protecting your quarterback, and you want your quarterback to stay upright if he can. And yeah. nothing wrong with Saquon as an athlete or running back. He's awesome. He had a great year, and he was everyone great. needs help. Honestly, it needs help. He's a huge reason they got where they were. But I'm starting yeah. to drink the Kool Aid a little bit on that Giants team, and. Uh, I think they're a little bit better than I was giving them credit for last year. And I do like the moves. I honestly do. And everybody's kind of shooting off from what I was reading about. Oh, wow. What about Saquon? The reason I'm like, I'm like yeah, you got to protect your quarterback and, and your your offensive line is super important too. And there's a different league than it was. We're a throwing league more than we are a one running back league. It's a run by committee. And you never know with Saquon. He has a bit of an, bit of an injury past. So maybe they're – we don't know what the Giants are thinking, but you're thinking here. that, right? So, a little pillow there. What is it? Oh, I was just saying a little security, a little pillow for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Andrew Thomas pillow. 
I, I but he's good, man. I'll he, I take him on the Vikes. <laughs> oh, no, I'm good. totally that boy, man. Just like for that, that's a record for an offensive lineman, man. Yeah, yeah, I think it was the record, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Uh, I like uh, I like some a couple of rare pieces on the uh, offensive line, but I still find I find some ra- ra- room for Andrew Thomas. He wants to come over. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Uh, what do we got here next? Next we've got Bryce Young. So uh, the Panthers uh, have announced, wasting no time, rookie Bryce Young will be their starter. This has uh, been reported as news. Yeah, apparently. I mean, that's my question to you, man. Well, geez. Why did I just, not? Who else <laughs> did, did I just ruin that? <laughs> Sorry. Man. No, 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 you're fine, man. Oh, like, <laughs> what's their other option? Is it Andy Dalton? Is that, is yeah, that... yeah, 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 really, though. You kind of, not at this point, Andy Dalton. Maybe Andy Dalton 2015 would put up a fight, um, and he would, but uh, not now. And uh, I think they built that team around the fact that they thought Bryce Young would be their quarterback and uh oh you and, have to do it man yeah I, yeah 100 percent and and they brought in pieces who can catch balls fake news. And, um and they uh are putting and they brought in a uh uh Miles Sanders running back and their offensive line is okay and um yeah but anyway and Johnny Mingo good young rookie I like Johnny Mingo uh, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a no-brainer, and uh, Frank Reich uh, will do uh, do his best to make Bryce Young a, uh, a star, and I think he has the potential to be a star. He's kind of, I was talking this around the draft a little bit, but he's that intangible guy. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like he doesn't have the best arm. He's not the fastest. He's not the uh, most accurate. Uh, but he's really good at all those, right? And uh, I, I think he's, uh, I think he's gonna be a star. <laughs> <So much shit. laughs> no, no, I know, but I, I, I picked him in my dynasty, man. I picked him in my dynasty league. Uh, yeah, it was a draft, draft league, basically, yeah, and yeah. Uh, like uh, just for the guys from the draft. And I, I scooped him up. Like, draft, he's sitting yeah. there. He, he's sitting there, man. I'm like, I'm taking the fella. Uh, I, I think he has, uh, uh, like he's gonna be like the. Like, uh, I mean, he's 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 gonna I'm be a to... no doubt. He's what? He's short. <laughs> you know me and my short ones. Yeah, yeah you know, not keen on them. No, not, not my quarterbacks, but no, <laughs> no, the the small hand and the short. You're you're very much a non fan. <laughs> but I hope for the best, though. I'm not a hater. Oh shit, man! I I hope you, I wish him all the all the luck. And uh, Kenny Bickett's gonna be a star, by the way. So. Ooh, I saw a highlight from training camp where he was like one handed over the defender, like behind him. Oh man, it was sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. no, Bryce Young, Bryce Young, all day, man. I I don't think that was ever. Uh, in doubt, I'm a, unless he, I'm unless a he's the kind of guy, but yeah, no, no, you're right. Never in doubt. I mean, it had to be him all along. It, it had to be. It really did. Like there was no other option there anyway. So <laughs> no, Andy Dalton. Oh, yeah. Six or wait, five three Baltimore. They got uh, to get out in second. Man, Baltimore's dangerous. Man. All right, kept up. up. We've got oh, and to conclude, uh, Justin Herbert. He gets his payday. Five-year deal, two hundred and sixty-two and a half million dollar. Uh, man, fifty-two and a half per year per season. Sign me up for that, man. Uh, that is a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I, I make uh, a little bit more than that, but you know, I uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's uh, every two years. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, hey. If you got a quarterback like that, you have to yeah, uh, lock him up. So much money. Yeah, I know with so much money, but look at everybody other every other quarterback. They're all getting paid ridiculous amounts yeah, of money. Well, yeah. And uh, let's look at Daniel Jones, who I, who I just praised, uh, but the Giants signed Daniel Jones, and he's making a ton of money. But I think Herbert's uh, not intangible, but tangible, tangibly. Uh, everyone's like making the, just the better physical attributes and the better, you know, he's better. And uh, I, I think you might as well, if you're the charges and you have that much money to throw around, why not? Uh, why not yeah, throw it at Herbert? And the cap's gonna. It, it, uh, uh, 
All right, what? It's, all, it's, all, it's all going to go up from here. I was just pulling up quarterbacks and what, and, and what they're making, and I mean, it's a little bit higher, but I mean, considering it's always going to go up, I guess it's not that crazy. Uh, it's it's not that crazy, and it's just yeah, it's never going to stop, man. These, like, these he's making Aaron Rodgers money, basically. Yeah, yeah. I I think he'll have a better season, like statistically, than Aaron Rodgers. Me too. Yeah, I think you will. I, I think, think it's going to be a little bit of a situation there this year. I don't think they're going to be that great. Who the Chargers? Uh, no, the Jets. No, I I'm interested to see the Jets. I'm not really cheering. For, the only reason I'm not cheering for them, and I said this before. Who'd you just say? The Chargers. The Jets. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm just I'm done with that, man. I'm done with the the Aaron oh, Rodgers yeah, bullshit, Rodgers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, just go Vikings. Go grab Sauce Gardner, Quinn Williams, and uh, why don't you get Garrett Wilson too? And you know, just I don't even have to think about the Jets anymore, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. People are high on them, but I'm I'm not so high on them. Uh, I'm thinking they're going to be all right, but I don't think they're going to be a Super Bowl winner. Like, are, are they not? The Green Bay Packers from last season? No, no, a little uh, better, uh, better talent around uh, Rodgers than, uh, than the Packers. Yeah, it, like they they get some some nice young pieces, but that's the thing they're they're pretty young outside of Rodgers, and I don't I, I I still don't see them winning the Super Bowl. I don't even I, know I, the playoffs. I, I have to have a look. No, they're they're making the playoffs, but they're not going to. No, uh, they're not one of my top three, four, five picks to win the Super Bowl. No, they're not. I, mean, I don't even have them at zero percent. Oh, you really yeah. hate Aaron. We'll have um, to get Aaron on the podcast. They're a 500 team. Yeah, yeah, we'll get them on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go get Jordan Love. That's who we'll get. <laughs> uh, let's do it. Oh, man. And the return of Joe. Man, we got to do that, man. Awesome. Working, That's all awesome. I got, man. Uh, so much MLB news, so much NFL stuff, man. So much uh, movement. Yeah, over oh, 100. percent And we uh, we missed a few trades, and we apologize. Oh, we so yep. many trades in uh, like an O Fam. Tommy Fam went to uh, the D backs. Oh, that happened today, right? Yeah. That's important. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, a couple others I'm drawing a blank on. Uh, the O's got a pitcher. I know the O's got a pitcher. I can't think who it was. We'll review it next week anyway. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Uh, we hit all the biggest ones, I think. Yeah, I think we hit the big ones for sure. Crazy was, trades, man. Crazy uh, trades. There's a lot of movement, man. You should have just seen that play before we go here. Uh, Chapman laid out to his right in foul territory on a ball going down the line. Got up. Made Threw a strike to first for the out. It was awesome. Awesome. Oh, beautiful. You you have to go watch it as soon as this is over. All right, man, well, then let's get out of here, yo. Um, <laughs> Fresh Chicks Sports Podcast every Tuesday night on the Real Fresh channel. Go watch some old episodes. Shout out to fanboys. Uh, in the corner, in the logo. You know, we are got a bonus episode coming up at the end of the month for the fanboys marathon so keep an eye out for an announcement uh and also shout out to all star sports network and let's talk sports network i might have forgot exactly. that earlier so shout out all the homies we you did forget that i think yeah yeah so shout, so homies exactly exactly, exactly. appreciate <laughs> you appreciate y'all yeah all right man so before big glue i'm how fresh and uh we'll see you next week peace man peace